Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is part 13. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the action hook called login head. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys login head action hook is used to customize our login form. So basically if you go to administrator panel. So this is the login form guys as we can see WordPress provided login form. Okay. So in our previous video session guys we has added two of the extra fields in the login form. Okay. So if you want to suppose customize this login form by taking consideration of style sheets also. Okay. So by the help of guys login head we can add our custom style sheets to customize this login form as well. Okay. So if you go to the documentation link this is the link that I have provided right here. Okay, so if you go to the documentation link, we can see that there are many options that by using login head action hook, we can customize our login forms as well as if you want to change the layout of by using a style sheets, then by using login head, we can also attach our style sheets. Okay, so this is the way guys by using of which we can customize our login form. Okay, so right now we are not going to attach any style sheets to customize this login form. We are going to validate this input boxes. Meaning right now we have no value inside this name field as well as inside phone number. Okay, so if no value inside that we want that there should be a error message that these fields are empty. Please fill some value. Okay, so we want these errors should be appear before this login button click. Okay, before click we want to so these type of errors right here okay so how can we show those errors so just back to editor so this is the plugin guys so far we are all working on okay so by the help of this plugin we are learning our wordpress hooks so this is the hook guys that we have used login form to attach our extra fields to the login form okay so we are going to show our error messages okay so first of all we have to make a function so let's show wt extra fills error messages okay so this is a callback function so finally we have to attach this callback function with our action hook and the action hook called login head okay so just make copy and paste inside the second parameter of add action function okay so basically inside this function guys we're going to check the value of this input type text of name and the phone number okay so first of all let's bind our attribute called name txt name and also let's bind called name equal to txt phone okay so before clicking on login button we are going to check these values okay we want to show error messages like these fields should not be empty okay so just make copy go inside this callback function and right now this callback function actually will be fired on the login head action hook. So inside this callback function guys we are going to define a global variable of WordPress called global error. Okay. This is basically a global variable defined by WordPress. Okay. So let's say that if empty we are going to check our input value of post and the value is in txt name. This is the name attribute value right here that we have defined inside this name section. Okay. So we are checking that if it is empty. So we are going to store some error messages inside this variable. So just make copy and let's say that inside this not for finding. So just I'm going to close this and let's say that inside this error. Let's say that name should not be empty okay so if i save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that guys this is the error messages that we have applied for this input type name okay name should not be empty so if suppose we are going to pass some of the values inside this name section let's say that inside name section we have a value called online web tutor okay so if we save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we have a default value inside this name section okay so we are getting this message again so if i click here on login button suppose something i have written something wrong password so if i click on login and now the error messages has gone because by clicking on the login button we have a value inside this post variable called txt name okay we have value called online web tutor from this input type text box so this error message does not exist 
okay again i am pressing enter here so right now there is no value inside this post variable txt name so that's why we are getting the message called name should not be empty okay so how can we validate our phone number okay so by the same value by the same way we can validate phone number as well so just copy this name attribute let's say that if i scroll down so if post variable let's say txt phone if suppose it is empty okay so just i wrap this value inside this empty php function okay so if phone number is empty so let's store some value or error messages inside this global variable error okay so let's say that phone number should not be empty so just save this file go to browser reload this page and now we have a message called phone number should not be empty because we have not concatenated these values together okay so just i'm going to add that so let's say dot symbol to concatenate these values and right here we are going to put some br tag okay so if i refresh this page so here we have messages called name should not be empty and phone number should not be empty okay so if i click on login button so what will happen if i click on this button so this text box has value inside this post variable but now inside this phone number we have no value okay so just i want to click on login button okay actually the password and the username is correct so let me uncorrect those values okay again clicking on login button so here we have a message that invalid username this is wordpress invalid username message and now here we have second message as phone number should not be empty this is why because we have no value inside this phone number okay so if i suppose pass any value in correct username just i click on login button so right now we have these two values inside our name and the phone number okay inside our post variable so that's why we didn't get any messages related with these fields if we want to keep those values inside this text box so how can we achieve that so just back to editor so here we have made a form inside this login form okay so here we have to write something called txt name let's define a variable txt name it's set something called inside post variable so if txt name is set it means that inside post variable txt name we have some values otherwise it should be empty okay so if i copy this txt name right here we are going to pass inside this online web tutor as a static value okay so let's say that echo txt name okay this is the dynamic value what actually we are going to add inside this input type text txt name and also if suppose we are going to change for phone number txt phone just make copy paste here and replace with here also so if i copy this txt name just go inside value section and let's say that echo and txt phone okay so if we suppose save this file go to browser reload this page continue and now these are the last values that actually we have filled okay so let's pass in correct values let's say that sanjay and also phone number something dummy value so let's say that if i click on login button now incorrect password okay this is the invalid username error messages but right now we are getting as the default value what we have provi provided before that okay so by the help of guys login form we have added our extra fields to our login form okay and also for the validation we have added a login head action hook to validate our fields okay and also guys remember that login head is basically not used for validation only it is also used to attach our css file any of the scripts file to customize our login form as well so basically guys by the help of this video session we actually understood about the use of login head action hook and also we have added two extra fields to our login form okay so if you have any doubt in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day